right, well, congratulations on your new video game. It's right there behind you, Aluna, Sentinel of the Shards. It was a long uh, uh, project in the making, right? You wrote this in 2008 um, as a vehicle for to show Latinas in comic books. Yes, you know, I went to my first comic book in 2008 and I loved it. I had never experienced anything like it. Uh, but very quickly I realized there was a huge void uh, in fair representation of women, of indigenous people, of Latinos, Latinas, Latinx, right? And so uh, instead of complaining about it, I decided to create one. <laughs> and here we are. And yes, it's been a long time coming. Uh, we started with some humble comic books and then got very lucky. I was able to license the character to an online video game that was existing. She had a lot of success then. And uh, from there, I knew that one day she really deserved to be the star and helm her own video game. And here we are now, Luna, Sentinel of the Shards, and it's available on Nintendo Switch and Steam, soon to be available on PlayStation and Xbox. Comprendes. Now, uh, it's nice to see a heroine, especially a Latina. Like you said, there's there's a lot of them lacking. So what was the pressure like to bring a look to her? It was important for me to create a superhero that represented women, indigenous people, and the Latinx community in a positive light. But it was equally important for us to create a hero that everyone could identify and most importantly, have fun with. 